what's the immune system and how it developed, I believe we would have had an immune system in the Garden of Eden because the immune system, if you ask an immunologist, uh, is to, def to define self from non-self. Now that, that sounds like a rather silly thing to say, but we live in a world that is full of all sorts of other living things, other microbes or lots of microbes and, um, and fungi and other living creatures. And our body has to decide which things we are going to live in peace with that are not going to cause us any harm and which things will cause us harm in this world. But even in the very good world, the microbes had to be kept in their place because if they get into the wrong place, if they get, say, into your lungs or if they get into the stomach lining tissue, not to the stomach lining surface, but through that surface into where the living cells are, they will cause disease. So we do need an immune system to determine, right, these things can live on the body surface quite safely and we will allow them to and the immune system senses those things and it it targets them, oh yes, I recognize that, cell, that microbe, it can live here quite safely. Now in the fallen world that we live in now, the microbes have changed, the world has changed, microbes get into the wrong place, and the immune system is sort of on red alert all the time. But even in the Garden of Eden, we would still have needed an immune system in order to keep the microbes in their proper place. And in their proper place, they are good for us. They fit with the world being very good.